Hello and welcome everyone to another edition of the Daily 8 on the News 8 Live Desk. Phil Panarski here with the top 8 stories that you need to know for your Tuesday. Hope everyone is having a great day so far. We are going to jump straight into things today and our first story actually takes us up north. A specialty team from Michigan State Police announced an arrest of a man that they say was selling drugs on a school's property. 40-year-old Charles Beckner of Gaylord was arrested last Thursday by MSP's Straits Area Narcotics Enforcement Team. Troopers say that they found Beckner in possession of 57 grams of meth and 13 grams of crack cocaine at the time of his arrest. Police did not disclose to us which school that they say Becker was allegedly selling the drugs at. He has been charged with four different drug charges, though, and was placed on a $50,000 bond. And we have an update to a child abuse case from earlier this year in Cedar Springs. Michael Roos has been sentenced to 28 months in prison after he was convicted of locking his seven-year-old son in a wooden box. He pled guilty to the crime back in June. Police actually found the boy inside that box during a welfare check that was prompted by the Children's Protective Services. Roos's girlfriend, Jessica Ann Kilgore, was also sentenced for her role in the crime as well. And now for another crime story. Former Detroit Lions offensive lineman Goster Shirelis was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct during a flight on Sunday. The now 40-year-old Shirelis is said to have appeared drunk when he first boarded the plane and then allegedly urinated on a passenger and then hit another one before passing out. Shirelis played five seasons in Detroit with the Lions before retiring after the 2016 season. He has since issued an apology on social media saying that he was uh, had actually taken a slip sleep medication that he had never taken before that may have resulted to his behavior during that incident. And we do have some sad news to report. Maria Brañas, the American-born Spaniard who was considered the world's oldest living person, has died. She was 117 years old. Brañas made headlines back in 2020 after she contracted COVID at the age of 113 but made a full recovery. Her family announced her death on social media earlier this morning. Tomiko Ituka of Japan is now believed to be the oldest living person at 116 years old. And we'll get to your Storm Team 8 forecast in just a minute. But first, we do have some other weather news to get to. If it feels like there may have been a little bit more tornado warnings all across West Michigan this year than maybe past years, well, you're right in feeling that way. Because according to Gra the Grand Rapids National Weather Service, 2024 was the third most active year for tornado warnings in this area. There have been a total of 20 as of today, and not to mention 74 severe storm warnings in general throughout the year. The 20 tornado warnings is the most since 2010 when we saw 24 warnings, which is the most in West Michigan. 2001 is the only other year where we saw more. And uh, But thankfully, though, the weather is looking pretty good here for us today. And for a look at now at your forecast for this Tuesday, let's send it over to Storm Teammate Meteorologist Matt Kirkwood. All right, it's going to be hard, hard to top this weather pattern that's going to uh, be with us over the next week at least. No rain in the forecast, abundant sunshine, comfortable humidity levels and temperatures. That will change towards the tail end of the eight-day forecast. That area of high pressure up to the north of us will feed in that dry air from Canada. This will be the coolest day in the stretch with high temperatures, really uh, having a difficult time making it into the 70s. Beautiful pattern, though, and that warming trend really begins tomorrow. Uh, Grand Rapids high today, 72 degrees. May see a few fair weather Q uh, clouds here and there. That's about it. Heading out to the beach today, upwelling has really knocked those water temperatures down into the 50s. By the way, that uh, Holland's not 72, it's 62. And that wind northeast and northwest 10 to 20. Waves around 1 to 3. They'll build a bit around 3 feet, especially uh, south of the Grand Haven area. Eight day forecast, a lot of great beach days heading our way. Temperatures well into the 80s this weekend and even a potential some 90s after the weekend. 
All right, thanks, Matt. And today marks an exciting day for Ada Township as the community finally welcomed the opening of Ada Hotel. The new lodging centerpiece has been years in the making, and we've been following it along the entire ride this whole time. The hotel is named after the original Ada Hotel, which was first built in the late 1800s. This new version will feature a restaurant on the first floor and a lounge area as well. We got a sneak peek of the hotel that you can find right now over on woodtv.com. And we end things today with a pretty fun story, of course. World Atlas, a geography resource website, re recently released its list for the nine most adorable small towns located on the Great Lakes. And no surprise here, six of those spots can be found right here in the state of Michigan. Some of those towns include Mackinac City, Traverse City, and Ludington. The list highlighted the sunsets, unique shops and restaurants that all of these cities have to offer. And we definitely have more on that full list over on our website as well. All right, well, that is going to do it for us today on this edition of the Daily Aid. But remember, you can find more information on all these stories we talked about, as well as so many other amazing stories that you can find right now over on our website. Just head on over to woodtv.com. And again, we are going to be back again with another Daily Aid tomorrow with eight more stories for your Wednesday. I want to thank everybody for tuning into this latest edition of the News 8 Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.